everyone, welcome back. How's it going? Good, good to hear. So today I'm gonna to take you on a little final test drive tour of the latest Icon Ford Bronco. This one is a 1968 Bronco. It is built in our old school style and it is Icon BR number 86. So there you go, got that out of the way. Blue seems to be incredibly popular, especially with the Broncos. So here we have yet another blue. Fortunately, it's a blue I have not done before, so it's kind of nice. Usually, kind of don't get too into uh, metallics with the old schools, but it works, especially in this shade of blue. It's got a nice retro vintage vibe. The metallic's super mild, so it's not obnoxious. And we've got the Wimbledon white wheels and trim to complement it. Um, cosmetic options on this truck were, of course, running the old school forged aluminum 18 inch made in California wheels. And we are running the Ranger trim option as well as the bright work in the hard top glass and windshield inserts. We are uh, running the Icon spare tire carrier assembly. And uh, yep, that's it on the outside. This canyon's kind of fun. Uh, on the inside, we are running a really nice, unique textile insert um, that comes from the more the architectural world for like, I don't know, nice hotel would have used it for exterior patio furniture. It's a really, really good high durability UV and microbial ratings. And it's got a nice touch to it. I like the way it's working out. That's flanked in very close to parchment, sort of cream bone white leather. And of course we have the underlit door spears and the door panels and cargo panels. We also are running, of course, the beloved Icon Center console. We have the power door locks. We have the power windows. Those power windows have a little gizmo thingamajigger. So we keep the stock analog window cranks and you just push down to go down, duh, and up to go up, but you can double click from the driver's side and control all windows, which is a really nice convenience. We also leather wrap the steering wheel on this truck. And speaking of the wheel, we recently made a change. I decided to go back to the early spec Bronco wheel because it's a two spoke. I'm finding that that gives you better visibility to your gauges and your dash controls, which is always kind of a challenge in the Broncos due to the odd location of the principal gauges. We painted it in the body color, and I think it works out really nice. We, of course, geeked out a little bit, and uh, we now machine the horn button in stainless steel and put our spun pewter lizard at the center instead of the vintage Ford logo. We're running Alcantara Headliner, kind of a darker sort of sand neutral color. And we're running our Hargarten Square Weave rugs. Those are uh, Dynamat lined, rubber backed, modular geometrics with 3M Velcro so you can remove them if you're gonna get dirty and nasty or to take care of them or whatever. You'll notice we color match the seat belts on this truck something I'm doing more and more of the old school just kind of helps that continuity and the design vibe of the sort of retro situation. In the rear, we're running the tuck and tumble removable two passenger bench seat. And we are running the seat heaters in the front seats as well. For audio, we have the Pioneer NEX latest and greatest. So HD, FM, AM, CD, sat radio, reverse camera, Apple CarPlay, tethered or tetherless, um, really good nav system, although I think the Apple one's still better. And that is the elevated audio, meaning it has amp and bass, of course, but it's also paired with the higher end Focal K2 speakers with separates. Um, we're also running the Coyote 5 liter current gen aluminum fuel injected V8 as found in the modern Mustang GT. That's sending power through to the tried and tested and true super robust AOD Ford automatic with overdrive. 
power then travels through to the Atlas two twin stick shift on the five part tank four wheel drive transfer case. Power ends up at the axle assemblies. They are Dana based architecture. Dana 60 high pinion in the rear, 44 base in the front. Those are built by our good friends at Curry Industries. They're 100% new assemblies down to the housings, which are mil spec primed and powder coated. Outboard ends of those diffs, you will find the Icon Sport brakes by Brembo. Those are Hydro Boost assisted. And of course, we are running the optional ARB locking differentials with the dedicated air compressor. Sport suspension, so we have coil suspension all the way around, no leaf springs, yay, and uh, tunable sway bars. And sport suspension means the nitrogen charged 12 inch travel, two and a half inch body shocks with the remote canisters that give you two rates of tunability to really dial it into your taste and uh, the environment in which you find you're using your BR. We have food grade mandrel bent stainless steel exhaust from our good friends in Florida. This is running the restrained exhaust, which is slightly less rowdy than rowdy exhaust spec that we offer. This motor just makes a racket no matter what, and that's kind of part of the fun. Amp research power step option, of course. I think that's it. I think that covers uh, pretty much everything. So I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna thank you for taking a little bit of time out to watch yet again another Icon Final test drive video. Any questions, you can always pick up the phone. Old school, call us 818-280-3333. The website, of course, is icon4x4.com. Instagram and Facebook is also icon4x4. Be good, be good to others, and I'll see you on the next one.